I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. Today, I'm going to put this Helio Spring flight controller into this quad. And this quad has in it, whoop, the Dal RC Engine ESC. And this is, frankly, one of the best 4-in-1 ESCs you can get today, uh, as long as you only are going up to 5S. If you're going to 6S, then this one doesn't support it. But it is great performance, Bale Heli 32, D-Shot 1200, all the good bells and whistles, and... It looks awesome to boot with this. Like I know some people who put this on top of their stack. It looks so good they want to. They want to see it. Now this ESC has a plug, as many four-in-one ESCs do. It's got a plug here to help you interface it with the flight controller better. And that plug is going to carry all the signal wires, and it also has things like current sensor output, uh, ESC telemetry. I'm not sure if this particular ESC puts it in there, and that's what we're getting at in this video. Because although, look here, these plugs for the Helio Spring and the Dallar C, take my word for it, they are exactly the same size. And you could just boop, plug it in, and what would happen? I don't know. Because the pinouts for these guys are not actually standardized. So the lesson for today is, number one, if you have a 4-in-1 ESC and a flight controller, and they have a plug just like this, just because the plug fits in, does not mean that it's going to work. And in fact, in, in the worst case scenario, you would actually fry your flight controller. I don't know if that's true for this one, but you could feed battery voltage somewhere where it doesn't need to go and fry the flight controller just by haphazardly plugging them in. So today what we're going to do is we're going to check this pin out and I'm going to show you how you can basically make one of these little wires, if it's not compatible, how you can make it compatible or even make your own. Stay tuned. So what I've got here is a printout of the pinout diagram for the Helio Spring uh, 4-in-1 ESC plug. Uh, thanks to, I think it's Philip Seidel who made this diagram that I've printed here. Um, it's from the Helio Spring documentation. And I just did a, a Google search for Helio Spring pinout and found this pinout for the board. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look and see what's in the board because there are some things that you're always going to find like here are the motor one two three four these are the motor signals but there's some variance as well as to like you will sometimes see that they'll have a five volt input which means that the board will be expecting five volts from the ESC regulator the board doesn't have an onboard regulator but you'll also sometimes see VBAT input for the board. And VBAT input may mean that the board expects battery voltage from, well, usually from the 4-in-1 ESC as well. Uh, so in this case, you can see we've got our choice, and we're going to want to make sure exactly how the right way to wire that up is. Because generally, you only want to power the board one way. If the board has the option of being powered either through 5 volts or VBAT, and you do both of them, you could get yourself in trouble. So I will have to do some research into exactly what the right way to wire that up is. And I can't help but notice that there's also a solder bridge here. This little solder pad is designed so that, you can see these three ones here. Uh, the way these work is you intentionally put a solder blob to bridge these two pads, and it's basically used to select a certain option. Uh, it's a common thing to find you know, on circuit boards. So I'm going to guess, and I'll research this, that this 5 volt pad here is used to select between 5 volt input on the port or VBAT. Now you might wonder, why are we even being given this option? Why do we have VBAT and 5 volts if you're not supposed to do both of them at the same time? And the answer is probably that different ESCs have different capabilities. So sometimes we'll look at a 4-in-1 ESC and we'll see that it outputs 5 volts and only 5 volts. Sometimes we'll look at one and we'll see that it outputs VBAT and only VBAT. So the, and my guess is that the Helio Spring devs are trying to give you the maximum amount of compatibility here, even though it does mean that you have to put a little thought into this. We see here that we've got current or telemetry RX4. This pin is gonna be used for current sensing, and there are two different ways that you can do current sensing on Betaflight and Butterflight most commonly. One of them is to do analog current sensing, in which case there is a, hello, can my pen work? One of the ways is to do <laughs> analog current sensing, in which case there is a zero to 3.3 .3 volt 
analog signal, and that signal represents the amount of current that the current sensor in the ESC is, is detecting. Why put the current sensor in the ESC? Well, current has to flow through the current sensor, and in a case like this, where the, P, the flight controller doesn't have a PDB in it, there's no, sen there's no reason to put all that current through the flight controller the sensor on the flight controller. It makes the most sense to have the sensor on the ESC, and then the ESC just reports the current sense data to the flight controller. Now, I said one way to do it is with analog current sensing. The other way is to, to do it is with um, ESC telemetry, which is a digital protocol. It's going to communicate the same information. In fact, it's going to communicate additional information. ESC telemetry can uh, ha it communicate motor RPM, current, uh, temperature of the ESC. I don't know. Mostly what it does is uh, RPM and current. Um, and you have your pick of which way you want to do that. And again, some ESCs will have only analog current sensing. Some ESCs will have only ESC telemetry. Some will have both, and you get to pick which one you want to use. And here we have these two solder pads, and one says current and one says RX4, and those are, you're probably going to bridge one of those, but not the other, and that will pick what the function of this pad is going to be. So... If we look at the pinout for the Dallar C engine, we see, of course, we've got the four signal outputs. Great, that's sort of to be expected. And we've got a current output. Now, because that says current and not telemetry, that is analog current sensing. That's gonna be the zero to 3.3 .3 volt current sensing. This ESC does not appear to have a BL Heli 32 ESC telemetry output, and so we're gonna to need to use analog current sensing. It, we can also see that it's got both a 5 volt and a VCC output. And we might, well, which of those should we use? Uh, I'm going to want to use VCC. And there's two reasons for that. One is that the Helio Spring has an onboard 5 volt regulator. It's a good quality regulator. And so we may as well just let it do its work. But the other reason is that if we don't feed VCC to the Helio Spring, then the um, on-screen display won't know what the battery voltage is. So in order to make the OSD work, we're going to need to send VCC anyway. We probably better just, you know, just let the onboard regulator, we'll just power the board that way since we got to do it anyway. Um, if we were to send both five, we, we, why might we want to send five volts instead of VCC from the ESC? Uh, one answer to that might be if the onboard regulator of the ESC Let's say we have an ESC with a 3 amp 5 volt regulator and a flight controller with a 1.5 amp 5 volt regulator. Well, in that case, we might benefit from giving the flight controller 5 volts from the ESC because the regulator has a higher power output and is, is better spec'd. Um, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to leave 5 volts off. We're going to send VCC from the ESC and let the onboard regulator of the Helio Spring do the, the powering of the board and all the accessories. And we're going to have analog current sense, but not ESC telemetry. Okay, so I just had a little chat with uh, Tim Sweet from Helio just to make sure I had my facts straight. And here is how it works. If you want to use the 5 volt input from the, or the, from the 4 in 1, then you wire it to here and you bridge this solder jumper. And then you are getting power from the 5 volt regulator on the engine, which is in fact three amps compared to the two amp regulator on the Helio. So you have a larger regulator. However, at that point, you do not have battery voltage sensing and your OSD won't know what battery voltage is. To do that, you'll need to hook up VBAT. If you hook up VBAT and five volts at the same time, the regulator on the, on the Helio does become active. It's powered by VBAT and you are simultaneously getting five volts from the engine and from the Helio onboard regulator, which you might think, well, I've got three amps from the, from the engine and two amps from the Helio, should that, so it should be five amps, right? But that's not exactly how it works. And in fact, having two switching regulators wired in parallel is often not recommended. Uh, so I am not going to connect five volts. I'm gonna run this off of VBAT, even though it means I'll only have two amps from the Helio versus three amps from the engine uh, because I, I just don't wanna have two five volt regulators active at the same time. And furthermore, the onboard regulator on many four-in-one ESCs, even though it says 
three amps. It's not really, I'm not, I'm not accusing the Dell RC engine of anything in specific, but oftentimes the regulator on a, on a ESC is not the best. So we're not even going to use this five volts. We're going to go NC, which in case you didn't know, stands for not connected, which means basically no function. Uh, so that now we know how we got to wire these guys up. And in fact, let me just uh, get another spare sheet of paper and write it down. Now, this is the wire that came with the Helio spring. So presumably the colors of the wires are sort of correct on one side. And if we compare to the Helio pinout, what we see is, yes, indeed, red for VCC is very common, uh, green for current, black for ground, white. Yeah, and then we got white would be five volt. And then we got misc colors for the sensor. So we're going to leave these alone on the Helio side since the colors already sort of make sense there. And we're going to modify this side. Now you can reorder these wires by pulling the wires out of the header. Let me show you an empty header here. So this is an empty plug header. That's what it looks like. And you can see it's got these little retaining tabs here on the top and you can just, if you have like a very fine exacto knife or something, or sometimes you can do it with a very small flathead screwdriver, although you're a little more likely that you're gonna actually damage the, the plug header, but you can lift those pins, lift those retaining tabs, pull, just slides right out, reorder them however you want, slide them back in and you're good to go. You can also buy an assortment of pre-terminated wires, you see? They just come like this in various lengths and empty plug headers, and you can just make your own from scratch. Uh, I've got links in the video description to two assortments of pre-terminated wires, one from ReadyMade RC, one from Race Day Quads. I'll do a search before I publish this video and see if there's any else out there. But those are very nice to have on hand because they just come with a bunch of different sized uh, plug headers and a bunch of pre-terminated wires and you could just make your own if for example You've got something like this that didn't come with it or maybe you just don't want to go to the hassle of pulling these out You just make it from scratch <sighs> Okay, well uh, <laughs> I got all the wires out, but you can see here that I have screwed up the pins I have broken several of them and bent them permanently. So this guy is dead. It's no good fortunately I have from this plug assortment, I have some empty plug headers. I just have to find one that is the right size and I can just insert these guys back in. Having having wired everything up, I'm gonna double, triple check that all of the wiring is correct. And you can see I've got the pinout is actually printed right here. It's not printed on the Helio. Um, and I'm gonna cross check that against my notes and just make sure that everything is how it needs to go. When you're wiring these up, remember, that this guy only goes in one way. So try to make sure you don't accidentally install all the wires upside down so that when it plugs in, it's all correct.